Hello everyone and welcome to my little series where I talk about, rate, whatever, every dildo in my closet that I love. So this is Lust Arts Unicorn Horn. Before I start, I did a little review, a long review of Lust Arts, and the long story short is that it took them 17 weeks from me placing the order to me getting it. 17 weeks. God, it was too fucking much. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen to you if you decide to order. Holy shit, there's something in my eye. My eyelash. Anyways, I love these. <laughs> I love these. Oh, and then I probably should do a separate video about this, but I'm just going to say their double-sided suction cups are not my go-to's. Cinevators are. But I have found a you like, I'll, yeah, I'll just make a separate video, but, um, I would start at Cinevator if you have extra money to spend, then sure, get some Lost Arts. Okay, so this is the size screamer. Uh, it is. I think it's zero zero three zero or zero zero three one. I think they were like, "Do you want to try this near clear?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, anything that's softer." Because I originally got it in zero zero five zero, and then I was like, "Well, can you change it?" Because you know the whole taking seventeen weeks ordeal. And they were like, yeah, sure. How the fuck do you get backed up for 17 weeks? Size details. Okay. Insertable length, 8 inches. That's probably true. Like 8.5. Tip circumference. To, I mean, you can see it's a pointed tip. I don't need to measure it. Sure shaft widest circumference 7.5 yeah they're pretty correct on that and yeah so another thing to note let's see if you can see it yeah you see how it's a slightly oval oh I feel like it's kind of hard to see okay so if you're looking at it like this, it's more long like that. If you're looking at it like this, it's oval. Does that make sense? It's a tiny bit of an oval. You can like kind of, whatever, I think you get it. I don't know, that's just important for me because when I put stuff up my ass and it's an oval, I need to put it, oh my god, I don't know how to talk. Okay, so my, look, if we're sitting, if I'm sitting on a dildo right now, I need to put it in where it's longer going this way, not longer going this, this way. <laughs> so that's just a little, but I mean, that wouldn't uh, stop me from like recommending it or anything. It's just one of those like little things that you notice after you get it and you've used it and like really looked at it. Whereas like you can't really see from the picture. Um, and then another thing that you probably can't see from the picture is these ridges, or maybe you can. See, like, okay, so, like, this ridge is kind of, like, bigger than these little ones. Um, what about this one? So, what are these? These are, they have three colors. Sunlight, twilight, rainbow. So, I got sunlight and twilight. Um... And then, yeah, you can see the color on this. It's so pretty. So these are really good warm-up dildos. 
Um, th these would probably be good just to, even just to like st completely start, because normally I do my glass dildo and then another one, normally one of these, or Bad Dragon Mystic, um, but these are probably good just starting out with nothing, for me anyways, I don't know, like it's just, it just feels like they just stretch my butt so well. It's just a gentle, easy stretch to 7.5 inches circumference. And then you move to a slightly larger one. And then, like, the texture feels really good. It adds a little bit, you know. Um, this base is fucking awesome. You just put it on the double sided suction cup, it's good. Um,. Yeah, I would totally recommend these, even though it took like 17 fucking weeks for them to get to me. I use these all the time. I wish they made them in like a bigger size. I should email them. Ugh, whatever. Um, because warming up to like, you know, 9.5 would be really nice too. But yeah, get these for a warm-up. I love them. Thanks for watching my video. Bye!